And now, from Austin, Texas, the live music capital of the world, it's The Bling Johnson Show. Tonight's guest is Patricia Vaughn. The house band is Lucas Cook and The Collection. Security provided by Bubba Incorporated. Coming to you live from the Continental Club. A man who thinks narcissism is not a bad idea if applied in gigantic dosages. Bling Johnson! in downtown Austin. We're on Congress Avenue, and let me just tell you where we're at, because I'm really excited about it. We're at the Continental Club here on Congress in Austin, and I'm really excited. When we started filming this show, there were two places I wanted to film at. One is Antone's, and one is Continental Club, and we're here tonight. So thank you, Continental Club, for having us out tonight. Give it up for Continental. All right. Now, for any of you that have been watching this show for any length of time, you know that I care about two things, tattoos and rock and roll. And we're gonna, we got both for you tonight. So before we get to the music part, we got a really special guest in Patricia Vaughn tonight. We have another tattoo, and we would like to bring Stephanie. Stephanie, are you here? Come on out. You're the next contestant on the Bling Johnson Show. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, are you happy to be here? Yes, of course. Hey, so I heard recently that you wanted to get a tattoo, right? Yes. What did you want to get? I'm going to get a dove. And where are you going to get that dove? Probably. Please say your butt, please. No. Because <laughs> I go film all these, you realize. On my side. All right. Now, I know that the dove had some meaning to you, and I don't know how much of that you want to go into, but can you tell us why you wanted to get a dove? Um, it represents courage and strength for some um, personal troubles that I've gone through, and also for my grandfather, who I lost last week to lung cancer. Well, that's why we wanted to have you up here. We appreciate you being so supportive of our show, and we want to go ahead and get you a tattoo. Do you have any yet? No. You don't have any? <laughs> no. Oh, this is going to be good, because she's... She, who, has, who has a tattoo out here? Anybody have a tattoo? All right. Is she going to feel the pain on, their, on her side on the first one? Not at all. They all said no. no. All right, so here we go down to Atomic Tattoo up in Pflugerville to my good buddy, Toby Ackerman. You ready? I'm always ready. And we are back at Atomic Tattoo. How you doing? Doing great. How are you? Now, you walked in a little nervous. <laughs> I got to admit. I'm still very nervous. All right, hold your hand towards the camera and hold it still. Look how shit, that is shaking right there. Hey, it's this is your first tattoo. You're going to do great. We're here to take care of you. Toby does good. How you doing, man? Doing good. You ready to do this? Ready. All right, so let's see what happens. Good luck. So what are you getting? I'm getting a dove. That is cool. I think we've got the tattoo right down there. Is it? <laughs> They're stick on tattoos. And Toby, man, what's up with the Santa hat? Ho, 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 Christmas, you know. Hey, don't talk to my friends like that. They're, they're people too, okay? But well, it's good to see you in the holiday spirit. Let's see your shirt, man. Oh, humble. Old Navy 2011. <laughs> Old Navy, send the checks to Bling Johnson at Let's Get Famous Customs.com. That is so awesome. What do you think? I love it. All right. You actually okay. have to do the ink part now. Can I, like, get on the deal like Jennifer did. I've got an evil woman Make you lose your mind and then That was get... funny that you wanted to do that. That's hilarious. <laughs> Toby, the colors are mixed. You're ready to roll, right? Ready to roll. You ready? No. Here we go. We'll hold your hand. <laughs> He's like, oh, no. Here we go with the first line. Ready? How was that? Good. It wasn't bad, right? Here we go then. So what do you think? <laughs> Is it as bad as you thought it would be? No, but I need your hand again. All right, I'll hold your hand. It's a good thing I can kind of uh, anticipate when people are about to laugh. Get ready for your point of 
So what do you think? Would you, you have any tattoos? I sure don't. You want to get some? Nope. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, no, no. You're not at a tattoo shop. We'll, we can work it out. Season two. Yeah, these are the long lines. The long lines hurt work. What did you guys get there? Tongue ring. <laughs> a what? A tongue ring. <laughs> well, hey, I like the outfit, man. UT all the way. I'm wearing shorts, I promise. The shirt's just really big. No, I wasn't good. I lost and let the good times begin. They may have snow from Denver to Boston, but there's no place like home and Christmas in Austin. Oh, Christmas in Austin. All right, so did that hurt as bad as you thought it would? Yes. <laughs> it did? No. <laughs> well, you were pretty nervous, but you really did good. I was impressed. I had some really entertaining people around me to keep me laughing. You did. We couldn't film all that. We apologize for that. But there you, had you, to be some editing and some bleeps. And You like the tattoo, though? Love it. Well, hey, Merry Christmas, everybody. We're heading on back to the Continental Club. There's no place like home in Christmas in Austin. I tell you, Toby does great work, so if you're looking for a tattoo, be sure to head on to Atomic Tattoo. They got many locations all over town. Now, you're watching this show on Christmas Eve, so this is the Christmas Eve episode of the Bling Johnson Show. Are you happy about that? Yes. Yeah. Do you want to be on TV again? No, no. Hey, everybody recognizes you from the last week's episode. <laughs> we were going to give you your Facebook information, but we don't need that blowing up right now. Your phone would be going off, wouldn't it? No. <laughs> Embarrassing people is what we do. Now, one thing we do on the Bling Johnson Show is we give back, and recently, Central Texas Harley-Davidson has been a great sponsor of the show. These guys have stepped up every time we needed something. So the other day, the Round Rock Police Department got together with Central Texas Harley, and we went on a Blue Santa toy run. They do it every year. And so we went, and the Bling Johnson Show donated some gifts, and we went on the ride, and we had 150 Harley-Davidson motorcycles driving down the road. So we're going to take you down to Central Texas Harley-Davidson and show you what the Blue Santa Toy Run and Helping Kids on Christmas is all about here in Austin, Texas. So here we go! You better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why, Santa Claus is coming to town. All right, once again, we're here at Central Texas Harley-Davidson with our buddy Rick. How you doing, man? Doing good, brother. How you doing today? I'm good. Hey, today is a special day. We got the Blue Santa Toy Run. Every year, the Round Rock Police Department put on a toy run where they collect toys. So we have, how many bikes we got today? About 150 or so? Uh, right about 150, yeah. So everybody to be a part of the ride had to actually bring a toy. We got a guy messing with us in the background there. They had to bring a toy that's going to go for children on Christmas Eve uh, to make their Christmas. What exactly is the Blue Santa Toy Run? Uh, what is that organization all about? Uh, so basically, here in Round Rock, the police department, the fire department, uh, and your city and parks uh, employees got together uh, back in 1978, I believe it was, and decided every year that they were going to help out the local families who were less fortunate in the holidays. Uh, it started out the first year right about 20 families, uh, and now we do well over a thousand, a thousand families every year. And when we moved here in 2008, we decided that was something we really wanted to be a part of. Uh, we are fortunate here at Harley-Davidson. Uh, we get to live a dream every day. And we were just hoping that one day out of the year we could help someone else live their dream. Well, I'll tell you what, you guys do a lot of things. And I've noticed this just from you guys being a part of our show. First of all, thank you for that. But I've seen so many things that you guys have done over the past few months to help people, other people. It really doesn't even have to do with selling a Harley or servicing a Harley. It has to do with being good people. And I think that's what makes people want to hang out with you guys, makes people want to come here to support your business. So we, we appreciate everything you guys do. Absolutely, brother. I mean, uh, from day one, all we've wanted to be is, is kind of a clubhouse here, somewhere where people want to come, hang out, and be part of our family uh, and allow us to be a, a good part of the community here. So on behalf of Bling Johnson and Mr. Rick here, we hope you have a Merry Christmas. Thank you, everybody who came out to support this cause. Uh, you made a lot of kids' Christmases come true this year. We really appreciate it. Santa Claus is coming. Santa Claus is coming to town. All right. Hey, thank you to everybody who donated, everybody that came to the ride and everybody who donated online. Uh, the Central Texas Police Departments all over and Central Texas Harley uh, really appreciate your help. And we made a lot of dreams come true this Christmas. Now, right after this commercial break, I'm going to introduce you to somebody I've come to know, an excellent musician. She's beautiful, she sings great, and she writes her own songs. So take that, Britney Spears. So we're going to be right back after these commercial messages. I was sitting on the back porch, thinking about tomorrow. What about my troubles? What about my sorrows? I was wearing my tail.
Central Texas Harley-Davidson is a full-service Harley-Davidson dealership located in Round Rock, Texas. With a huge selection of Harley-Davidsons, including all the latest models, a wide variety of Harley clothing, a fully stocked parts department, and a top-notch service department, offering the latest in dyno tuning and nitrogen for your tires. Central Texas Harley-Davidson is also committed to giving the biker community what they want, the best rides and events throughout the year. So stop by and see us today at 2801 North IH35 in Round Rock, just off exit 254. You're probably environmentally conscious and already doing things like separating your recycled plastics from your garbage. But do you know what happens to those recyclable items once you've done your part? Currently, more recycled plastic is collected than can be used. Many times, the recycled plastic that's collected ends up back in landfills and the waste stream because there's not enough demand. Reflex Packaging has developed cushions to protect sensitive items during shipping using recycled plastic. Environmentally conscious companies are already using this packaging like Taylor Guitar and Seagate to reduce their carbon footprint. For more information, find us on Facebook and visit reflexpackaging.com. How long has it been since you've been out to Oasis, Texas on Lake Travis? The brand new Uncle Billy's Brew & Q is open for business as Austin's newest destination. Located right next door to the Oasis, Uncle Billy's brews their own beer on site, has the best barbecue in Texas, and has three stories of scenic views overlooking Lake Travis. So grab some friends and come on out to Uncle Billy's on Lake Travis and enjoy great food, great beer, and songs off Rod's brand new CD, Something Real. This is Christmas And what have you done Another year over A new one just begun And so this is Christmas I hope you have fun Bling Johnson backstage here at Antone's for the Ham Jam Christmas Music Special. Is that right? Holiday Ham Holiday. Jam, man. Are you happy to be here? Loving it. All right, tell us who you are. Uh, my name is Shane Mott. I'm a dentist here in town. My name is Wendy Colonna. I'm a musician here in town. <laughs> Kia ora, I'm Shelley Mack from New Zealand, actually. I'm Rod Williams. I'm her husband. <laughs> And a very handsome man, I might add. Yeah, he always gives me a hard time for complimenting him on camera, but I, I can't help it. They, he was standing next to me on the rehearsal, and he moved out of here. But hey, this is a really special event that you guys have put on. Uh, it all started because you guys were hanging out, talking about something that you could do for Christmas. Is that what happened? We were having a little uh, show in my office, and Rod said, Hey, man, why don't you hook me up with some of the singer-songwriters you know, and let's do a, a holiday party in your office. I said, Man, we're going to call it the Holiday Ham Jam. And then, uh, and that's how this whole thing started. That's how this whole thing started. I mean, there's a ton of people downstairs. I mean, how did you get that many musicians that close together that quick? I didn't. Shane Mott, Wendy Colonna did. He's got more hustle than anybody I know, and she organized his chaos. <laughs> so, so you're the one responsible for a lot of it, huh? Yeah, I. Um, when Shane and I were Shane, he was working on my fixing my tooth, and then <laughs> he was telling me about it, and I said, you know, we only have like five or six weeks. Um, what do we need to do? And so I just started. Okay, I, give me your list. I'll get my list, and we'll, we put together a recording session at Mark Addison Studios a week later, I think. Yeah. So how many artists? Nine, nine artists record, and we had um, how many others? Nine uh, hours, ten hours, and then sixteen uh, artists on the tracks. Yeah, we had other people send us their tracks. That's incredible. Now the most important part is why you did all this. What is this cause all about? A lot of you in town that are musicians have heard of Ham, but for those who haven't, what is that? It's the Health Alliance for Austin Musicians. It provides preventative and emergency and basic services of health care for all of us. Amazing capital of live music and of the world. Crazy <laughs> musician people. 
That's right. I'll tell you, that is exactly why I love living in this town. That's why we're doing our TV show, to support and highlight these Austin artists and the venues to provide them a place to play. So thank you all for what you did. This has been a great night. There were a ton of people here. If you weren't here, you missed it. I have a feeling we're going to do this again next year. Yes, and you can check out the CD. You can still download it. Yeah. If you want Tell us, where can we get it? If, if I'm watching right now, this is airing on Christmas Eve. If I'm watching right now, where can I buy it right now or download it? You can download it on iTunes, Waterloo Records. Okay. And keep CD it local. Baby. CD Baby. CD yeah. Baby. And Hamjam dot, hamjam.com. H-A-A-M-Jam. J-A-M dot com. So go download. If you're watching right now on My Austin TV, number one, thank you. Number two, go download it. You can listen to this CD tonight and support a really good cause. So thanks all. Thanks for watching. Thank you guys all for coming out tonight. Thanks for coming. All right, thank you to all of our sponsors here on the Bling Johnson Show. Now, my next guest is an Austin native, grew up in Central Texas, writes her own songs, plays some of the coolest venues, has done some really cool things that we're going to talk about. Let me introduce to you Patricia Vaughn. Come on in, Patricia. Yeah. How you doing? Man, I'm excited to have you on the show today. How are you? I'm excited to be here. Look at all these people. South Austin. Yeah. I tell you, you and I were talking before the show got started, and you were telling me how much you liked the Continental Club. How, how many times have you played here? Do you know? Countless, but it's always a Saturday night it's rock and roll here at Continental. Thanks to Steve Wertheimer. It is my favorite club in Austin. That's right. I tell you, this place is cool. I mean, let me tell you a real quick story. The other day, I went to ZZ Top, and I, was, I got lucky enough through Rod Williams to get backstage. And then after the show was over, Billy Gibbons came here and played with Johnny Depp right here. Like right where we were standing, they walked right by here. Billy Gibbons was wearing his pajama bottoms, though, you know? That? I was in Germany on tour when that happened, but I got all these texts, wish you were here. I said, I wish I was, too. So, now tell me that you just, you've been on tour overseas quite a bit, right? We just finished our 20th tour in Europe. Your 20th tour in Europe? Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, we would go about three times a year, so it's stockpiled. Now, do you play all over the U.S. as well? You know, we do when we can, mostly in Texas, but we went on Texas on tour all over representing the state of Texas here in the nation, but uh, yeah. This is great. You know, what I really appreciate is you standing this close to me, because I feel like the glass is the only thing saving you right now. With the same, with the same height. <laughs> That's right. We all are almost the same height. I like it. Now, you, you have a CD out currently, and I know that you guys are about to go into the studio to produce a new CD. Uh, what's going on with your current one and the next one? Well, this is our fourth CD, Worth It. And in the new year, we're going to be recording uh, a Rattle My Cage is the title track. And we're going to play that tonight along with some other songs. It's going to be co-writes with all of my favorite artists. Um, the next album will be, including Alejandro Escovedo, Raul Malo, um, Doyle Bramhall. May rest in peace. And so we're going to play some of those songs tonight. That's pretty cool. Now, one thing that I really like about your music is you have a soulful passion in your music. You have a lot of videos online, which are pretty good. You have a lot of really well done videos. What's your favorite one? I like Missing Women, which is a tribute to the families of the missing women in Juarez, Mexico. That always hits hard for me. Well, I tell you, you have some great videos. You know where you can go is to your website. Tell them what your website is and where they can get more information about you. PatriciaVaughn.com, and we're here live at the Continental. That's right, Patricia Vaughn is V-O-N-N-E. -N -E. Now, I want to throw one last thing in here, and what was cool about this is that I didn't know this till after we met, after we talked and put this together, but your brother is a little bit well-known around here. Who's your brother? I invited him tonight, but he's with his children, Robert Rodriguez. And That's right, the, the producer, Robert Rodriguez, and he's also a great musician, right? He can play that guitar, yeah. That's right. The last thing I wanted to say, though, is you've had uh, songs of yours in a bunch of movies. I know Once Upon a Time in Mexico and some other ones you were telling me about. Yes, and Del Castillo is on that soundtrack as well. And Robert and I write a lot of songs together, and it's a lot of fun to work with him on that format. Thanks for being on the show. I appreciate it. We're ready to rock and roll with you. You bet. Rock and roll. All right. Lucas Cook, play us out of the commercial, buddy. Here we go. I'm lying in bed, and tossing out and turning, and trying to see my mind off of you. I spent the whole day doing nothing, lonesome as the night is long, trying to shake this out. Awesome blues. So 
little blanket it keeps me warm warmer than the sun and baby wasn't anything as hot as your love and i ain't been sober in six weeks straight and may as well i got nothing left to lose but the south of town just a couple days after we split I didn't know what to say or who he wants you were walking with and I guess I could have found something nice to say to you but I was too busy trying to lose the South Austin Central Texas Harley-Davidson is a full-service Harley-Davidson dealership located in Round Rock, Texas. With a huge selection of Harley-Davidsons, including all the latest models, a wide variety of Harley clothing, a fully stocked parts department, and a top-notch service department, offering the latest in dyno tuning and nitrogen for your tires. Central Texas Harley-Davidson is also committed to giving the biker community what they want, the best rides and events throughout the year. So stop by and see us today at 2801 North IH35 in Round Rock, just off exit 254. You're probably environmentally conscious and already doing things like separating your recycled plastics from your garbage. But do you know what happens to those recyclable items once you've done your part? Currently, more recycled plastic is collected than can be used. Many times, the recycled plastic that's collected ends up back in landfills and the waste stream because there's not enough demand. Reflex Packaging has developed cushions to protect sensitive items during shipping using recycled plastic. Environmentally conscious companies are already using this packaging like Taylor Guitar and Seagate to reduce their carbon footprint. For more information, find us on Facebook and visit reflexpackaging.com. How long has it been since you've been out to Oasis, Texas on Lake Travis? The brand new Uncle Billy's Brew & Q is open for business as Austin's newest destination. Located right next door to the Oasis, Uncle Billy's brews their own beer on site, has the best barbecue in Texas, and has three stories of scenic views overlooking Lake Travis. So grab some friends and come on out to Uncle Billy's on Lake Travis and enjoy great food, great beer, and songs off Rod's brand new CD, Something Real. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the Continental Globe on Congress in South Austin, Patricia Vaughn! Thank you. 
Patricia Vaughn. Thank you for watching the Blaine Johnson Show. Thank you to the Continental Club for having us. See you next week, and let's get famous. Let's get famous. I wanna be famous. Everybody wanna be famous. Let's get famous. I wanna be famous. Everybody wanna be famous. Let's get famous. I wanna be famous. Everybody wanna be famous. Let's get famous. I wanna be famous. Everybody wanna be famous. Let's get famous. Hey, so here's how you tell your dad. You have him watch this show, and right now, he'll see it on TV. Oh, hey, Dad. By the way, I got my tongue pierced right after today you told me I couldn't, but <laughs> got to do what you got to do. Merry Christmas. <laughs>